We've got another huge GTA 6 leak, and this one's a good one. This one practically kind of shows off what it's going to be like to play as Jason and kind of give you guys kind of a cool image of what the Vice City State of Leonida is going to look like when we first get our hands on Grand Theft Auto 6. Hey, how's it going, guys? Dalton here with another video on the YouTube channel, and in today's GTA 6 video, once again, we're going to be diving into a new screenshot that has come up in the last couple hours discussing about GTA 6, kind of showing off what Jason's going to be like in the game. Game and kind of showing off what the game is going to look like when we first get to play it at its state. This is probably one again, another huge leak that we talked about as we previously got a music leak not too long ago, kind of giving us the list of all the music stations that are going to be played. This one's totally different because this one kind of gives you like the cool vibe of what it's actually like to be a person in the game and actually play the game and kind of see what the beach looks like, what the design looks like, and everything that Rockstar Games has to offer for Grand Theft Auto 6. So if you guys do enjoy videos like this on the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily awesome videos like this. This was the image that came out a couple hours ago. This is showing you kind of guys what it's going to be like to officially play Grand Theft Auto 6. Like I said, you got the Vice City Miami Beach over there. You've got the palm trees. You've also got um, the editing codes for the game as that is the black box on the screen now. And you also have, like I said, I don't know a lot about editing or any coding for Grand Theft Auto 6 or even, you know, getting into this. Um, but I can tell you guys, it is pretty insane of uh, what the community Unity can come up with with Grand Theft Auto 6 to get it edited footage or early release from all the 90 plus hours of footage that we've gotten from the hackers. So this is clearly as really cool. Um, I'm really excited for that. Um, so warning, the game is running on low on Veridio memory. Please close other applications to reduce your graphic setting. Now, this is only going to happen due to it's being in the alpha stage. So we know that Rockstar Games have went back to their office five days a week to work full time on Grand Theft Auto 6, as we discussed that in previous videos before the weekend. Um, so... And that was a big hint because Rockstar Games employees weren't exactly thrilled that they had to leave their families and friends to work on Grand Theft Auto 6. But this is probably why, and I honestly think that, you know, I understand why Rockstar Games would want to or take to Interactive or whoever asked Rockstar Games to be in the office to do this. I understand really why they would want them to do it because if the game still looks like this, that ain't going to be the best version of Grand Theft Auto 6. I mean, don't get me wrong. It is a really cool version, but this is like the... Uh, uh, settings before their full production of GTA 6. So we're going to kind of get a good clue that the palm trees, the sky, it looks absolutely insane. You guys can see one of the fighter jets flying in the sky there. That definitely looks really, really cool and realistic. That's going to be pretty cool to dive into. You also have some of the main buildings in the game, like the hotel, and you also have some other buildings, not um, unknown. Um, you also got down by Main Street. You got some cars parked on the street. You got sand, and you just got downtown Miami, which we know is the state of Leonida. So this was one of the images that was leaked out. I do say it's a pretty cool one. Kind of gives you guys a cool description on what um, and what Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to look like before the whole game is done. So I can only imagine what it looks like as of now. But this once again was coming from the 2022 leaks. Not only did we just get that screenshot, but we also got a look to what the first mission might be in Grand Theft Auto 6, and that is actually coming from a new voice actor that could possibly be Lucia's actor. Now, this is coming from Instagram and Twitter, so I'll definitely, guys, leave a link in the description for you guys, but this is crazy. Like, it actually does have all the details that match Lucia in the story mode. It kind of has all of her attire, like her clothing accessories. It has has some of the other things like ponytails and just the design of Lucia itself. Um, it just looks really, really cool. We'll be going over that in just a second here, but I just want to talk about that. That is the leaked image that is currently out on Twitter. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in that. But this image and this video right here basically shows it might uh, be the story mode. Now, we know that Lucia is actually in jail or even prison in the beginning of Grand Theft Auto 6. We know that she has an officer named Stephanie due for the trailer, which is her counselor. I imagine to get her through the life of crime and just kind of talk 
talk to her about early releases or what she did wrong. We don't know exactly what that is, but it looks like we kind of got some footage of what it would be like to have Lucia get arrested in Grand Theft Auto 6, and this might have come from the story due to the 2022 leaks. I am not too sure at that, of course, but like I said, if you guys think that it came from the story of the 2022 leaks, you can let me know in the comments down below. This is the video. It says Lucia from GTA 6 is getting arrested, which it totally does look like that's how Grand Theft Auto 6 is actually going to look like if Lucia ever gets arrested. And this is actually coming from a user called, I think it's called like Milky Kaiti or something, Kaiti Kate. I'm not really good at pronouncing her name, but it looks like this might just look it kind of reminds me that this could be Lucia. I'm not quite sure if it does look like her. That's why I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below. But if it is Lucia's voice actor, motion capture artist confirming this, this could be how you get arrested in Grand Theft Auto 6. And it looks actually legit. Lucia is literally standing there getting handcuffs, kind of pushing her way out saying, let me go. I did not do anything and just kind of getting arrested there. So that might be what Grand Theft Auto 6 looks like if you're getting arrested, which is pretty cool. I imagine there's gonna be cool designments and how that's ultimately gonna work in Grand Theft Auto 6. But so far, it looks really, really cool. Definitely check out the video. I'll leave a link in the description down there. So yeah, that's what we know so far about Grand Theft Auto 6. Of course, there was also a new leak that actually confirmed that the new gauntlet that was going to be arriving in GTA 5 Online in the Cluckin Bell Raid is actually going to be officially announced in Grand Theft Auto 6 2. It is actually seen in the trailer in one of the scenes where the cars are kind of doing drag racing around the state of Leonida. So we know that car races are going to be a big part of Grand Theft Auto 6. We also know that the modified gauntlet is going to be coming, the Interceptor, and a lot of fans are really excited for that car, myself included. I know we don't really do a lot of GTA 5 online videos or covering that, but we've kind of been busy with Grand Theft Auto 6 due to Rockstar Games officially releasing it, giving us a 2025 release date. Um, so we really haven't got back into the Grand Theft Auto series or talking about the event weeks that currently go on. That's because I'm just really excited to kind of dive into all the content that we know so far about Grand Theft Auto 6, or even if our insiders give us information or more leaks try to transpire. I always try to cover those first before I do random events in GTA 5 online. But you guys can see over here in the turnover zone, there's the Gauntlet Interceptor, which kind of gives you a clue that this is going to be featured in Grand Theft Auto 6. So we will eventually get back to GTA 5, and I believe I will do a video kind of covering all the Cluckin' Bell stuff. So be tuned to that if you are interested in following me online GTA 5 videos because I know a lot of people have been missing the online GTA 5 series videos talking about the event weeks, talking about everything Rockstar is currently doing. We've just been kind of busy with the Grand Theft Auto 6 stuff. So I want to focus on that, but I definitely will kind of cover some of the new content with the Cluckin' Bell raid. So be on the lookout for that if you are interested. Anyway guys, that is all the information I got for you guys on this video today. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily awesome videos such as GTA 6 Rockstar Games videos and all the upcoming Red Dead Redemption 2 videos that I'll be doing on my channel. Subscribe for more of those and of course as always guys, thanks for watching. Hope you stay happy, healthy, and well and I'll see you guys all later on the next video.